Do you like my YouTube videos? If you do, please leave a comment and actually click on the like button. And if you want, you can hit subscribe. That way you can stay up to date with all my YouTube videos. Hey, and go ahead and click that bell icon to be notified. Thanks. Take care, guys. Hey, guys. We're out. We're at another store. This place is actually called uh, Pets and Things, the Reptile Emporium, which is pretty sweet. They are um, a store here in Michigan, a smaller store that does a lot of reptile breeding, stuff like that. Uh, typically a good store. They did move to a new location. So I'm going to walk inside and... I may have to voice over this. I don't know if they'll let me film, but we're going to take a look. This place, just to let you know, takes care of their reptiles. Like, they have pet rhino iguanas and things like that. So, um, this is definitely a good place. I was in the old building, and hopefully we'll go in the new building here, and we'll see some other nice things, okay? I have gotten rescued reptiles from them that I've brought in. So, typically good guys that work here. This is, you know, when you're in a cool reptile store, and you just get to walk up. To a rhino iguana walking around just on the floor of the pet store how great hi what a big yawn so here's another cool thing other than just roaming they have this big big enclosure for some tortoises that are not for sale they're their pets same thing with the rhino iguana in here and they actually have a free roaming friendly quince monitor as well back over here but the cool thing is um if you ask you can get permission and you can actually come right in to the enclosures and you can check out these guys hi um you know and, and in here which is cool you've got a varying amount of crickets that free roam that can get eaten but you can come right up and pet these guys look at this how awesome is this how awesome is it to have tortoises like this that obviously I have sandals so I want to be aware of my uh, feet getting eaten hi buddies but when you can come to a reptile store that you can you know this is like a legit pet store it's not like a pet smart you know you got 40 year old tortoises that you can pet that want to eat you so you got to keep moving and of different sizes you can walk right up to friendly quince monitor that walks around i mean look at this guy and a rhino iguana that's right there to, you guys want to come all over me so it's so awesome to be able to come in like a legit mom and pop style pet store that you would have when, uh, you know, you could have been able to do this back in the day. Now you go to PetSmart and you see something this big and you don't get to interact with it. I mean, this is really nice interaction. I'm being just surrounded here. We're going to get out before I get cornered. Hey, buddy. Look at this. Look how legit this place is. Hi. Look at this. You can just walk up to a quince monitor. Hey, super friendly. Look at that. Hi, big boy. Isn't that awesome? You guys know this is this is a pet store, right? So you see, you're definitely going to be looking at um, simplistic tanks, but tanks that are still done right, even though they're simplistic. That's the key. So when you come and you see snakes that are in enclosures with large beddings and multiple hides. You know, things like that. You know, these are Marty made, so there's things that are good. You're not going to be looking at these giant enclosures because these things come in, they sell, they move out, new ones come in. And you've got some emerald tree monitors, um, not for sale, but these breed. So they have babies, which is really nice, hopefully, male and female. And look how gorgeous they are. You know, this is, a, again, simplistic tank, but a tank that's done perfect for them. The nice thing, too, is the keepers here they really know about reptiles so you're able to come here and get you know services like um, tortoises or beak or turtle beaks trimmed nails trimmed things like that um, stuff that's legit stuff that they wouldn't do at PetSmart look at some beautiful friendly caiman lizards like these are things you know that are interacted with that again minimalistic but good size have everything they need multiple water pools basking um, hides it's just great Oh, here's another quince monitor. He's under a mercury vapor bulb, obviously. So you see some uh, green tint. And it looks like he actually had 
you know, they get surrendered rescues as well. You can tell he had some burning on his back, probably from too close to a heat ball back in the day, unfortunately. They'll be like normal when you come in for your snakes. You'll have ball pythons, you'll have everything. They'll be in your rack system with heating. That's very common, you know, set up, so not a big deal. And as you walk around, you'll see enclosures that are either empty or have things in them, like an African zebra lizard. Hi, buddy. Um, which is really nice to see this level of care. Translucent veiled chameleon. This is actually Speedy. This is where I rescued him from. He was born bad right from the clutch, probably from this same clutch, and uh, got him rescued and got him nice and healed up. Right in there, a specialty store, so you don't see. Look at this beautiful guy. Gorgeous. Look at this boa. Mm -mm -mm. Absolutely gorgeous. And since they just moved here, they do have, you know, areas that are still being set up. This is probably, I think, where the rhino iguanas go. So, you know, stuff is in production. But if you're looking for that level of specialty store where they actually sell, sell reptiles and they actually know about the reptiles they're selling, the care, treatment, they, you know, provide services, this is definitely a good place. You can look at like the food that they get, actual fresh veggies. You just don't see this level. Oh, beautiful red tegu in here. Some Euromastix right there. Look at these little guys. I mean, that is so nice to, to see this level of care and um, specialty care. Some more quince monitors. I love a quince monitor. So friendly. Look at this gorgeous reticulated python. This already a big boy. And it's only gonna get bigger. It's probably a female, just judging by the size. Yes. Uh, nope, male, platinum, tiger, retic. Oof, that's gonna be a big boy. And see, again, these specialty, here's some more zebra skinks. You don't see this in Pico. You just won't see it. I think they have a really cool leaf tail. Oh, Toke gecko, even cooler. Yeah, now we're looking at gecko areas, which is, oh, right here. Uh, giant leaf tail gecko. This is a big dude, which is nice. And then uh, you've got a, in quarantine, a rhino iguana. It looks like it is female, which is really nice. Is this tortoise's name? Bubbles. Okay, this she was is found, Bubbles. And she was found in a box in our driveway, or in our parking lot. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, Bubbles, <laughs> Bubbles guys can do a tr uh, trick for some treats and we are going to show it off and so actually five of the other tortoises learned just by watching her I only trained her to do it but uh, through watching the ease of what they got for the reward and the little work she did nope all the way up all the way up now oh, they started doing it too all the way up Come on. all the way up. I see it happening give me this yeah I haven't done it in a couple months but she'll... there it is all the way up all the way up No, that steps all the way up. She'll hold it up. That's that's the trigger. That's it. Yes. That's right, guys. You see that? Bubbles will okay. shake hands to get a treat. And the nice thing about tortoises, because of how smart they are, obviously they're all coming for the treat. Other tortoises can watch that behavior and see what's happening and mimic that behavior to get a treat. All the way. Yep, all the way. There we go. This is the... There we go. Oh, get your balance. It's a balancing yeah. act. Yeah. All the way, all the way. Yes, yes, come on. Come on. Good girl, that's oh, in there. <laughs> that's the, that's the ticket. <laughs> okay, excellent. Thank you guys for supporting my reptile rescue family.